fuel is pretty straight. We've got a little lean spot here that I'm going to correct. Aren't you that guy is always in the background? Yeah, always in the background. <laughs> What up guys, we're here at Tour Custom Cycles. Uh, we got Sal over here, wiping down his little baby. What's up? We got the uh, 2022 CBO. Just finished putting the SNS 128 kit, right? Yes. 128, uh, dyno tune is done. Um, so we're about to show you guys the real stuff because I know you guys are wondering. I know you guys are wondering. What's the numbers? Okay, so we got official numbers with a, bla uh, with a bad clutch. So um, Mike's gonna explain everything for us real quick. So we're gonna show you guys the screen over here, show you guys what numbers. So we made some adjustments. Um, I've got the air fuels pretty straight. We've got a little lean spot here that I'm gonna correct. Um, this is our typical SNS dip at the beginning. Most people will see that. Were, were, were these uh, the bad numbers? These numbers? are the bad numbers, because this bike uh, did start you got some erratic lines here and here. The clutch is slipping. The bike was starting to slip on me somewhere around four to 4,500 RPM. Oh, wow. So that's where you see that black it, it, what, what, what does it do? It goes black. <laughs> <laughs> so <Yeah>. so <laughs> what we've done is uh, we're actually uh, in the process of ordering um, the Evolution Industries clutch and basket for him. Now, and now is this typically because of the amount of power that that? The bike's putting down a lot of power. Yeah. Um, we tried, we, it was slipping even worse the first day and we tried to um, change the springs out and it did, it helped for a little bit and they held for a little bit. I'm trying to find the dyno run that had the bad springs. The original one, right? Yeah, I'm trying to find it, um, but you excited, bro? Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you excited? Hey, I'm always excited. I, I I get well, what are you looking at back there? I get, to work. Work. get to work. Hey, that's fine. You stole it. <laughs> <laughs> I did delete, uh, I, I guess I deleted them. Uh, so we got five, six, seven. I just want to find one of, one of the better ones, though. That's a 135, 131. And, and we're gonna show you guys the road numbers, not the the you know make believe numbers that these other so guys out there put out. One seventeen and one thirty six is the best we got out of it. But so what what's SNS saying that that you're supposed to get out of this whole kit? One twenty five horse and somewhere one forty to one forty five torque. So we're not that far off. I mean we're at one seventeen and one thirty six with a slipping clutch. Yeah. So, um, we have to order those parts. It's gonna take a little bit for them to get here. So I'll bring it back. We'll slap them in. And uh, do another, we'll do some, a uh, little bit more tuning and then we'll do some pulls Sweet. on it. You wanna turn it on real quick? Show everybody how it sounds. I know everybody's gonna ask, well, what, what pipes do you have on this bike? It's Bassani. Bassani pipe? It's a Bassani header. Bassani header. That allows you to keep the stock heat shields. Okay. Can we show everybody the new guy? Yeah. Yo, what up? Hey, new guy. And he's Dominican, just like me. Look, we, we look like cousins. Que lo que, que lo que. <laughs> what are you doing, son bitch? Just taking this ratchet back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> Got some uh, solid riser bushings to put in this bike and do the super clamp as well. Nice. Ryan, what are you doing? It's about to answer a phone call, so maybe we'll get some more customers. Are you the secretary here? Of course. <laughs> 
All right, so we're also gonna take these bikes out real quick. I got the glide right here. Um, so me and I are gonna go for a little nice ride. Then we're gonna swap bikes, so I'm gonna give you guys my first impressions on the kit as well, so you guys get to hear that from me. Um, I can't wait to get on that bike because that thing sounds sick. Uh, it just, it's, it's a ripper, man. Mike's telling us that is fast as hell. Yes. Right. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> you need help? <laughs> help! Dog pile! <laughs> Mike, real quick. Yeah. Uh, the braking period with the 128 kit. Mm -hmm. Thousand miles we needed, right? Yep, thousand miles. Nice, easy riding. We had the um, rev limiter set low, so we couldn't really over rev it or cause problems, you know. Um, and also that you know it was detuned very well because it couldn't you couldn't hammer on the dyno you did. Um, thousand miles is through. We got fresh oils back in there, and it's fully ready to go. Pretty sweet. If you guys want this guy right here to build your next 128 kit, he's here waiting for you with a big nice smile. <laughs> So, let's get on the road. It's gonna be Sal's first time getting on this bike right now after they took off the rev limiter. Um, so we're gonna get his uh, impression afterwards and then I'm gonna get on that bike and give you guys my impression on it. About to get on the highway right here and um, head over to Bergen County Harley Davis real quick and then go for a little ride, possibly get some lunch and hang out. It's a beautiful day out here in dirty Jersey, man. Blue skies, clear skies. Partly, wait, wait, partly cloudy. Partly cloudy. The sun's coming out though. <laughs> Mike's a funny guy, man. Bergen County. Shit. <laughs> she pulls? <laughs> Bro, I was in fourth gear doing 120. <laughs> yeah, that needle just climbs. E if, even when it was in the dyno, that needle just went like this. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, dude, it feels good though. It's like a good, like clean, no fucking hiccups, just straight smooth. Bro. Oh my god. So, in other words, you're happy. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> I, mean, I really didn't feel it slipping, but he said you're not gonna feel it on the road, on, on the on the dyno. Yeah. It slipped. But I mean, it's good to change the clutch anyway. Bro. Shit. <laughs> Can't wait to see the gas mileage I'm gonna get. Um. <laughs> <laughs> The bike I want, man. The last one. It's the bike I want. We had three. That orange is way better in person. Bro, that Baja orange? What do you think about it? I wouldn't honestly? buy it. 
But, but I want to buy it, but it's nicer in person. You, you, like, you like to see it? Yeah, I sold Yeah, this Bahama is sick. Man. You got to see the limited that came in, the gold and black yeah. one. Yeah? Bro, it's Where on the it? lift right now. We can go back there. It's stupid. Yeah, yeah that's the one I want. This shit's sick, bro. It's fucking hot. Out of me, ride his baby right here. Oh, I can't wait to. Woo. Woo. Wow, <laughs> first time. Riding on a bike that has the SNS-128 kit. If this bike rides the way it sounds, Jesus, whoa. Wow. Even just going in from uh, first to second right there, that power is just instant. I really like this backrest thing back here in the seat. This thing feels great. I love that. You feel so much power out of this thing. How does it sound? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. You just feel so much power, man. And it sounds great. It sounds amazing. I gotta tell you one thing about these bars too. Extremely comfortable. Really, really good position. Really good hand position. Um, my arms feel relaxed. Perfect height too. All right. up there so quick <laughs> oh. and it sounds so good it sounds so freaking good this big huge cloud of dust dust cloud over here sweeping up the sides of the road well that's good that's good
Guys, if you are interested in or thinking about getting this SNS 128 kit, whoa, yes, go for it. Go for it. Go into it blindly, man. All right, we're going to get back to my house right now. We'll wrap it up, give you guys my final thoughts, give you guys Sal's thoughts on my bike as well and what he thinks about his own bike here with this brand new SNS 128 kit. Damn it. <laughs> it's like, damn, I want this for my bike. All right, what you guys think about this new little hat that I picked up at Bergen? Pretty sick, right? Different. All right, first impressions right off the bikes right now. It feels insane. And like, like you just said, you said, like, what you said, you said there was, there's no room on the road to get. To like pin the throttle. There isn't. All the way back. There isn't. That, that thing just wants to climb, man. It wants to climb. And it's a, there's power in every power band and the more you go up on the rpm the more power it just wants to get <laughs> what camera you have is it in here 550 sns sns 550 it's the kit that they make it comes with yeah. Yeah. that cam comes with the, with the kit right mm -hmm. shit what, what i mean what do you think about after riding it now for the first time it's a different bike <laughs> definitely different than the 117 stock Back oh yeah day. oh Sounds yeah. different it's louder it's deep it sounds like a hot rod it sounds insane. You were riding behind me too. Yeah. And that thing sounds yeah, nice, right? The night, yeah. What you uh? What you think? I love it, dude. Uh, I was just saying on camera. I'm like, yo, like I, I, I want this whole kit for my bike. It's pretty pricey, but I mean, it's 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 worth it. So insane. Congrats, man. We'll see the we'll see the true numbers once. That clutch comes in and oh yeah because the, the, i didn't those, feel it slipping did you no 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 not at all so the, those are those aren't still the final numbers either so once we uh get this brand new clutch in it and everything put it back on the dyno and get some the Ev actual actual numbers evolution clutch yeah so uh we'll probably get those exact numbers that the sns is saying that you're supposed to be getting out of it what you think about the uh my glide man i mean you, you've been on it before yeah i've been on it I haven't been on it since you did the stage two. Oh yeah, you that's right. Feel that? Yeah, it's, it's not. It's not a one twenty eight, but no, you know. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'll be honest. Coming from this to that, you feel the difference. Oh hell yeah! You feel it instant. Still powerful, like you're still you know better than stock, but yeah, yeah. you definitely feel it. I let the the riser like setup. I like the way it, it, it handles. Oh yeah, yeah, it handles I'm great. Really, I really want to do a T bar, but I don't want to get rid of that middle. That whole thing with the buttons and stuff. I don't know. I'm well, up in the air with that. Like, I mean, I was mentioning in the video. I'm like, yeah, like your bars actually feel really good. Really comfortable. They do. They do. They don't feel bad. But then when you go to a full, a real T-bar setup, it's like yeah. night and day. Well, guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's beautiful out here. Blue skies, clear skies in Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna keep enjoying this day. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.